Hi, my name is Inbar, also known as the Lean Samurai. Version 3.0 of the Scaled Agile Framework, or SAFE, has just been released, and I wanted to give you a short overview of the changes. This video is for people who know the 2.5 version of SAFE and would like to know what is new. If you don't know SAFE, watch my video, SAFE 3.0, in 8 minutes instead. This video will briefly cover each change. For more details, please refer to the big picture at www.scaledagileframework.com. The team level remains mostly the same in 3.0. The only minor difference is on the big picture itself, where three items from inside code quality have been promoted to the big picture. Agile architecture, continuous integration, and test first. On the program level, we have several changes. Program increments, art matrix, program epics, IP iterations, the release, and shared resources. Program increments replace the old and cumbersome potentially shippable increments. Since the release is done on demand and is not tied to the development cadence, then program increments provide a better name for the development cadence of the train. Version 2.5 had many matrices for all three levels, but they were all inside the matrix icon on the portfolio level, which made this confusing. 3.0 changes this by separating the portfolio matrix and the art matrix into their respective slots. Program epics are a new concept in 3.0. Features are requirements that an art can do in a PI, and epics were requirements in the portfolio level that can spend PIs and arts. But what if an art product manager has a requirement for his train, which will take several PIs to finish? And where do we manage the single art part of a portfolio epic? Enter the program epics. They provide a place for the product manager to manage the long-term activities of his train, whether they come from the portfolio or not. Program epics that do not originate for the portfolio backlog will still need PPM approval due to their size, but might be managed locally. 3.0 sees a move from heap iterations to heap iterations. The validation activities that used to be included in the heap sprint are now moved to the release object, as that's when final validation of fitness for releaseability needs to occur. Which brings us to the release itself, which comes to explain how releasing is done in safe environment and the activities that must be done to prepare for the release. Finally, shared resources come back from version 2.0 and explain how shared resources should be managed centrally by the program for the benefit of all teams on the train and to help alignment. Another small but helpful graphic change was the move from the kilogram sign to that of the weightest shortest job first infographic. The portfolio level also has some big changes in this release. First, the graphic has improved and tells a much more streamlined story of the program portfolio flow. The changes include a better explanation of the relationship between value streams and arts, arts coordination and strategic themes, and lean agile budgeting. 3.0 makes it clear that the portfolio is built up of one or several value streams, each one delivering solutions to the market. Each value stream, in turn, is built of one or several arts, depending on its size. If a value stream is built of more than 125 people, it will need to be split into several arts working together. The art coordination article explains how multiple trains in a single value stream coordinate their solution delivery efforts and how this might require value stream level roles. Strategic themes connect the program portfolio vision to the business strategy of the organization. There are a set of objectives derived from the organization inputs and influencing the decisions of the program portfolio on budget and portfolio epics and ultimately the vision and roadmaps of the arts in the portfolio. Budgets in a safe environment create a much more agile way to handle budgets than the traditional project cost accounting. Most of the budget is used to fund arts directly, with the art product manager deciding on the program backlog as dictated by the strategic themes. A part of the budget is reserved to fund cross-art initiatives via the portfolio backlog. Finally, New emphasis has been put on the central position Lean Agile leaders play by including them in an infographic which explains their position in both the portfolio and program levels. 3.0 
focuses on four principles that guide these leaders. They take a system view, they embrace the Agile Manifesto, they implement product development flow, and they unlock the intrinsic motivation of knowledge workers. This has been a short overview of the changes from SAFE 2.5 to SAFE 3.0. I hope it helped you focus on these changes, but for a deeper look at them, please refer to the big picture and click on the link that interests you. Thank you for your time and have fun with SAFE 3.0.